Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial overview for the LSP I Dream of Christmas digital background shot by Anna Brandt. Upon downloading from the LSP Actions website, you're going to need to open this in Photoshop. This is best used, um, as with all of the latest products in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud, but you can use this in Elements, CS5, CS6, all of the older versions of Photoshop too. When you open up into Photoshop, you need to make sure you can see your layers panel here. If you can't see it, come up to Window and hit Layers. The base layer here is the image. Above this you have a shadow layer. You can turn this on or off. Um, this helps add some shadows for you for your baby. It's, it's not urgent, it's just kind of a, a little bit of done for you editing there. Above this you have the Your Baby Here layer. This is at where you need to place your baby in. It might not turn up in this layer, it might turn up above it, but as long as you click this layer first before placing or pasting your baby image in, everything should be absolutely fine. And then above this you have a hue and saturation paint on a red layer. I'll show you how to use that one if you want to um, a little bit later when I've added baby in. And then at the top you have an over layer. You can turn this on or off by clicking the little eye icon. And what this does, it just adds um, a layer of red over the baby if you've nestled baby in a little bit deeper here and baby is a little bit large it adds a little bit of blanket coming over the baby you can turn that on or off and you can mask it further if you want to so let's get started with adding the baby in come up here make sure you've clicked on this uh, this your baby here orange layer and come up here to file and choose place embedded and locate the image that you're going to use on your computer Darker, kind of more contrasty images will work better for this one. I'm using this image here, shot by Anna Brandt. If baby is facing the wrong way, you need to right click and choose flip horizontal. The light in this image is coming from the left. I like to take the opacity down a little bit um, when placing baby in, just to make sure that baby is in the right position. Though, of course, you can um, move baby around a little bit more, resize, um, rejig, and get them into the right position even after you've edited. Double click or hit enter um, to come out of the transform box and you can see here that the baby has landed above the your baby here layer and that's fine all you need to do is come down here on the bottom um, click this little icon um, the rectangle with a circle in the center to add a white layer mask Now let's bring the opacity up there are lots of ways you can mask a baby um, into a digital background. You could use the LSP Digital Background Assistant Photoshop Actions. These do not come with this digital background, but you can get those over at www.lsp-actions.com. Um, they help add all the editing layers for you and all the tutorials that come with that show you how to use digital backgrounds. But I'm just going to go for a quick way. If you're in Photoshop Creative Cloud, you can hit W on keyboard. Do select subject at the top here. That's really handy because it will, not ideal, but it will um, help add a, sub, um, a selection around your subject that you can mask. Or you can manually do it by hitting on the brush, choosing a black brush and painting the background away. Make sure you're on this white layer mask here and you can start painting the background away. Or you can hold down control or command hit I, make the baby completely invisible. Select a white brush because white means show and black means hide and you can start painting the baby on. I like to use 100% um, opacity and a medium percent flow and a medium hard brush. And you can see I'm just brushing the baby on carefully. Going over the edges a little bit but that's fine because I'm going to use a black brush to hone that in. Once you've added baby in, you can use Ctrl or Command T to bring up the free transform box and you can move baby um, a little bit more if you want to. You can rotate, you can position baby um, exactly as you feel they should be laying in the uh, digital background. So now I'm going to turn on the shadow layer here and I'm going to use this um, a little bit more um, to paint away or to show some of the shadows there. There's just a rough um, area of shadows added in there for kind of babies in the tushy up but where this baby is in the um, kind of the leg down pose there I'm just going to add some more of these shadows in 
Again, if you're using the digital background actions, you can add the main baby editing layers here and they will add all of those layers for you that you need. But I'm just gonna assume um, if you don't have them, um, then you'll be doing this by hand. So I've just added a levels layer in there. I'm just gonna darken everything down under the baby. Control or Command I to invert and add some even darker um, shadows in there. Black means hide and white means show. Now this overlayer up here, this is more for babies who are completely contained within the wreath as you can see here, but there's no reason why you can't turn this on and play a little bit more if you want to. For example, masking a little bit there. Um, you just need to use the white brush to show and the black brush to hide. So for example, I've just added a little bit more in there, but I'm gonna take some off for baby's foot there. And I'm literally just, just using some of these dark layers here. You can also add a shadow above the baby. You simply click on the baby layer again, add a levels or a curves layer, and drag this down to darken baby. Control or Command I to invert and paint on with a white brush. But if you're using the actions, it will do everything like this for you. You can just blend baby in, um, making them look as if they are really in the digital here. So there we have before and after. And you can play with that a little bit more. You could add um, some contrast to baby. So I've just added the contrast layer in here, just to add um, that rich toning to the baby image. But you can just play. Um, your image may require completely different editing steps for this. Um, as with all digital backgrounds, you can just um, play around and decide what you want to do to uh, make it suit the digital. Now you have this paint on red here, this green layer that's clipped onto the baby here. You can use a white brush if you want to paint on um, redness to match. For example, if you've left any of the baby blanket underneath, you may want to match, say it was blue or something, you might want to match that um, to paint red on to match the digital. So let me just add a little bit of the baby back in, a little bit of the blanket here. So we have this original um, pillow that I'm just adding a little bit of there. And that can really help with your shadows too. So I've clicked on the, um, the paint on red and I'm just gonna go over that and that will help you merge your original image in with this one. So that's added a little bit of texture in on that cushion and I've painted it red just to, uh, just to make sure that it actually blends with the digital here. So that's using the LSP I Dream of Christmas digital background with extra layers in to help you blend the baby. Of course, the way you do this might be completely different to mine. I've just shown you my workflow here. Um, just make sure that when you add baby in, you click on the Your Baby Here layer first and everything else should fall into place. And that's available at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.